What's going on guys, it's Jay ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris loot from last week on all three of my characters. So sorry for some of the videos coming out a little bit later than normal, but last week's Trials map was Burning Shrine and to be honest I'm getting a little bit tired of Burning Shrine as the Trials map. It's been the Trials map many times in year one and we've seen it a couple times now in year two. So I kind of want to see some maps that haven't been used yet in year two. Or they can try that one a rotating week where it's a random map every match you play on your passage. And it could be any map that's been played before in the previous weeks of Trials. I think that would be really fun and really cool for Trials. But going into this week of Trials, it's going to be a little bit different just because of the special ammo change being in effect for the first time since the patch. But from what I've seen in Crimson Doubles this past week so far... Um, it hasn't been too much of a difference or an impact on the game. So people are probably just going to use icebreakers to get around it or sidearms and stuff on round one and then switch after that. But anyways, let's get into my loot for this week. So starting off with my first character on my Warlock from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves a Reflection Sum and 6 Motes of Light. And my Reflection Sum came in at 317, so a pretty solid drop on that first Lighthouse Chest. Going into my Trials Bounties, we ended up getting more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks. For the Silver tier, we got no Exotic there, pretty unlucky. And then we got the Gold tier and Artifact once again. A Transcendent Eye is the name of the Artifact I got at 306. Uh, pretty weird looking Artifact, it's just an eyeball with the sun. Um, and it had full strength on it, so pretty interesting. There's some Artifacts that I haven't seen yet that I keep getting as some of my rewards for the weeks. Moving into my next character on my Hunter from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves an Inward Lamp this time with 5 Motes of Light and this one came in at 311 so kind of a poor drop on the second one. And then for my bounties on my Hunter, we ended up getting more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Strange Coins, Blue Engrams, Legendary Marks, all that good stuff. And for the Silver tier, we got no Exotic once again. For the Gold tier, it ended up going to my Postmaster because I got another full inventory from all those engrams and I ended up getting a fusion rifle, the Elevating Vision at 308. So not really anything spectacular here. The fusion rifle is kind of average so not really that great on that gold tier. And then finally for my last character of last week on my Titan, we ended up getting ourselves another Reflection Sum and this one came in at 317 also. So pretty cool, I got two 317 drops from the lighthouse really good for infusion fuel and then for my last set of trials bounties from the week we got more passage coins motes of light and legendary marks from the silver tier we always get unlucky and then from the gold tier we ended up getting another weapon we got the unseeing eye machine gun at 303 pretty solid machine gun in my opinion but I already have uh, multiples of them, so uh, nothing big or special on that one. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!